Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about organizing hacks. One in particular, if you're like me, I just can't get enough of life hacks, organizing hacks, travel hacks, any kind of hack, I'm in. So the hack for today in regards to organizing is to use old items you have in new ways. Okay, this seems pretty basic, pretty simple, but uh, don't most hacks, right? After you hear them, you're like, duh. Okay, let me give you an example. This is my husband's closet. This, not too bad. This is a little scary. This is a little scary. Anyways, we have this hanging sweater organizer, okay? It now is, you know, like 100 degrees every day. Actually, it's cool right now because we just had some rain, but we, we don't need to hang, to deal with our sweaters right now, right? They don't need to be on display in our closets, in our home at least. What he does need is a better way to organize his shoes. Yes, could I get something for the ground to prop his shoes up? Of course, but again, we are using this hack. We're going to repurpose something old and make it something new. You use it in a new way so that we can save some money and again, just not have to buy something new and use what we already have. So, like I said, this is usually to hang sweaters, but I'm gonna put his shoes in there and see if it kind of does the trick to like tidy up this space down here. It also has pockets in the side, which is great. So yeah, I also have one of these in my guest room closet that I put um, frames in and like decor items. I didn't know how to organize these frames, how to store them. I had them in a big box at one point and it was just like, it was not efficient, right? They were just kind of stacked up. I couldn't find them easily. But having this kind of tiered system, the shelf, it, it makes things so much easier to get to right and to use like we want our stuff to be easy to use that's one of the biggest things about organizing is sometimes when we have these spaces that are unorganized we don't use our stuff as much right because it's a hassle to get to it or it's a hassle to put it back or we can't find it any of those things so we want ease of accessibility we want to be able to find our things easily use them often use what we have right and know what we have <laughs> Okay, so like back here, he does wear his like suit jackets often, but he doesn't have a bunch of them. So I'm gonna kind of make a divide, probably just like in the center, um, and then start putting his shoes in and we'll just kind of see how it goes. There, I'll make the divide between his short sleeve shirts and long sleeve shirts. Now, I do know that he has some stuff that he wants to get rid of, donate. If this were a client, I would, you know, make them or suggest that they do that before we organize anything, obviously, but he's not my client and he just hasn't had time to do it yet. So I am going to put stuff in, but he will, <coughs> excuse me, he will eventually have more space up here because he won't have as many shirts. And he is going to be getting rid of some of his shoes, so that will be helpful too. Now, like we've talked before, I like to use max out your space, right? Vertical space, floor space. But when it comes to the floor, I don't like to put a ton of stuff there that's not easy to move because it gets dirty really easily. It's not easy to clean, right? So if we have all these shoes down here, we're not taking those out every time we're vacuuming. It, we're just not, right? So that area is just staying dirty, collecting dust. So instead of having those down there, maybe putting a suitcase down there, so that way we're still using that space. It's still functional, but it's easier to clean, right? Or if we can do stuff without, like, cause you know, the ceiling's pretty high up here. Maybe we can use all of that and we don't need that space. If you don't need to use your floor, I would definitely suggest not using it. 
Now from here, I'm just going to organize by, they. these were organized at one point. Um, basically, I'll probably do from casual to dressier, flip-flops to dress shoes, that type of thing. And we will have to stack items, but like you see, they were stacked before. It doesn't bother him. Each person is different, but it doesn't bother him. So I have all my shoes in my closet facing out. For some reason, I just kind of like them better that way. And in here, they seem to be stacking better like that, but we'll see how he puts them back. If he would prefer to put them back the other way, whatever works, we'll switch it around. I'm going to go ahead and say that he needs to get rid of these. I'm just going to put them aside. So as you can see, they're not all going to fit in here, but that's okay. At least then we have less shoes. What are these laces for? Uh, we have less shoes on the ground, easier to clean. And like I said, he may still be getting rid of some, so... Voila. You can tell the things that my husband likes, right? Uh, now we have a one in, one out system. So if he buys a new hat, he gets rid of an old one. But he's, he wears a hat every day almost. So he, he wears a Okay, so this is much better. I love that we repurpose this, turn something old and, you know, use something old in a new way. I just kind of tidied it up the top. Good to go. Let me show you some other things. Okay, so I have shared this one before on the channel, so if you've already heard it, just skip ahead. But another thing to, another old item that you can kind of make new, you and use in a new way is, or are these, um, toy containers so if your kids had it like this is a melissa and doug toy can't even remember what the toy was but it's got these great little dividers already in it so half the time we don't end up use keeping these boxes and they're great you know they're like these wooden pieces they're sturdy yes it's pink i could paint it if i want to i just don't care that much it's inside my drawer and it does the trick but it's a perfect little divider for little straws, little inserts for water bottles. These are for um, olive oils. It's just a great place. It's a great thing to use if you were gonna throw it away or you, know, you just weren't sure what to do with it. Use it as a drawer organizer.
Okay, so I know it's just a couple things, a couple examples I gave y'all, but I hope it inspires you and I hope it makes you think about some of your things in new ways and helps you save some money, right? Get organized and save money. Love it. All right. If you liked this, please think about subscribing and sharing and I will talk to you guys soon.